All right, everybody, Zabe and the boys here. Scotty, Galdi, Solly, you with us on the Zabe cast here? He's waving. He's like, I'm still holding yeah, out for more waving, money. Waving, holding out, exactly. I'm here, hello. All right, in the wake of the Plaxico Burris fiasco, and by the way, it's always good to have a gun in the waistband of your sweatpants. Who wears sweatpants to a club, by the Come way? Come on, the fashion police weren't there. Neither were the real police. I'm trying to think of something light enough that I'd feel comfortable if I stuck it in the waistband of my sweats, it would stay there. Yeah. A heavy, loaded gun? Handgun? No. I don't think it's going gonna, gonna to be one of those things. But I was thinking about this, and I said, you know, what are the dumbest gun incidents ever? And I have a top three, and you tell me if I'm missing any. Ready? Number three, Barry Switzer for your Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Old coach Gunsmoke. Yep. Taking a gun the, on the team plane. The dop kit on the airplane, right? Yeah. What are you doing? Shaving and shooting, apparently. You know, good for you. Yeah. Gotta love stuff like that. Are you having a good time now, Jerry? I got a pistol in my bag, Jerry. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, I didn't know it was there. Alka Seltzer, Pepto Bismol, Barbasol, gun. Yeah. That's number three. Number two, on the all-time stupid gun incidents, Jason Williams, formerly of your New Jersey Nets, oh, man. showing off his mad shotgun skills. To a limo driver, Gus Christoffi, and then blasting a mud hole in his chest. Not a good gun incident there, was it? No. At, at least your uh, top three athlete limo driver incidents as well. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry here. Oh, man. Throw my clothes in the pool. I'm going to go wash off yeah, this Yeah, I, I was going to say, at least he was honest and upfront about what happened. <laughs> you no, know, he didn't run from that one either. No. The number one gun mishap, the number one gun fiasco that I have? Bison Daly. No, he died a on boat. a raft yeah. after Why shooting after people. After being shot, right? Yeah. No, number one, <laughs> Woody Allen, I have a gub <laughs> from the movie Take the Money and Run, right, Scott? I believe that's what it was from. He not goes date on the old Woody. Galdi, you've probably never seen the movie. I have not, no. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a Woody Allen classic. Yeah. And he goes to rob a bank, and he hands him yeah. a note. He's robbed a few things, yeah. Yeah, he goes to <laughs> <laughs> cradles and the banks. Booty. Yeah. He, he goes to rob a bank. He hands a note to the teller who's reading it and said, I have a gub. What? And he's like, oh, no, no, no. That's supposed to be N. I have a gun. No, it's clearly a B. Yeah. That's my number one gun fiasco. So am I missing any? Uh, Stefan Marbury had the gun issue, too, where wasn't the gun in... It, it was it, maybe it was in his girlfriend's handbag. Sebastian Telfair. Sebastian Telfair. No, no, yes, yes, I'm sorry. Yes, guard. not uh, yes. Okay. Definitely Telfair. I like the Elijah Dukes where he texted a picture of a gun to his wife, ex-wife. Yeah, yeah, strange. That's a good one. Yeah, there's the threatened the to kill her. The, uh, the college football fans last year, right? One said he was invisible, and the other one <laughs> proved him wrong by <laughs> blasting him into. Oh, how about this? World. How about when Fredo dropped the gun? Yeah. In the Godfather. When uh, what's yeah. uh, way to step up when his dad got shot <laughs> buying fruit? Yeah, Fredo just choked like a dog. Plaxico the gun right yeah. onto the ground. And then of course when Michael does it, he drops it to perfection in the restaurant. Exactly. There you go. Your short list of all-time gun fiascos. Plaxico didn't make the top three, but you came close. Try harder next time. Thanks for listening, folks. We'll see you around.